How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. Wasn't the best game, but it was definitely the best result Liverpool could have gotten today. Um, being at home after the international break in October. Um, it wasn't the best performance, but it was a very gritty one and one we certainly needed to dog out. Similar to what the Crystal Palace game was and the Brentford game was. And all the wins we've been getting so far this season, particularly at home in the Premier League. Um, We'll just we'll just start off. The first half was a bit. It wasn't really much going on. Bar the bar the bar the penalty that uh, that we got. Jones uh, basically was brought down by Levi Caldwell in the penalty box. Referee gives a penalty. Salah just needs a few just needs a few seconds to compose himself and smashes it in the, into the top corner. We're one 0 ahead. Chelsea had one or two chances they could have scored from as well, but Liverpool done well to keep them out. Jones, from a defensive point of view today, was outstanding. He made a very important block for the interception for Cole Palmer. And he definitely made a very important interception in midfield as well. When I think it was either Pedro Neto was, was clear for a long goal. Uh, Jones, without, we might as well get involved into it now, was man of the match today. He was clearly outstanding. We talk about for the equalising. Um, it was a well-worked goal from Chelsea, but it was, you know... Ball, ball watching defending for Liverpool to say the least. Um, a, a, a through ball gets cut through up past our pack line. Canate tries to be cute with the offside, but his left leg sticks out as Jackson is one on one with Kelleher and basically puts it into the bottom corner and it's an equaliser. The VAR takes at least a minute to uh, get the full analysis on it. And once the analysis is done, it's, it's clear to see he was onside and the goal was given. And then it's back to square one once again. But then a few minutes later, three minutes later, should I say, Salah then, as we're attacking the cup from left to right in the second half, puts a lovely little ball through, beats Chelsea's high line, and then um, Curtis Jones, nice little touch with his, right, with, his, with his left, and nice little touch with his right, puts it past Sanchez, and we're 2 1, and we're back in front. And we really, really just from then on in, we. Slot and the team just said, "Look, we'll grind us out today." We probably he, he knew we weren't really at our full flow of best because you can see there was a lot of sloppy passes. We didn't really keep the ball well enough at times. We didn't create enough chances either to test our goalkeeper. So I think he'd be a little disappointed with the performance, but he'd be more than overwhelmed with the victory, if that makes sense. And this will take time. Look, I think the winning. It solves all your problems, don't get me wrong, whenever you're going to a new job. It eases that pressure as to towards the next game. But I think we have to start seeing performances as well if we're going to beat better teams. Like even next week against Arsenal. If we play like that against Arsenal, we won't win. We simply won't win away from home with the Emirates. So we've got to have to up our performances. we got a Champions League game during the week against Leipzig away from home. That's a nice little distraction before... We play Arsenal as well at the Emirates, so it's definitely worth something we can keep an eye on. Uh, Jota went off with an injury, um, so he it was debatable really where Tosin he should have been sent off. There was a similar incident that happened yesterday against when Arsenal played Bournemouth, where Saliba brought down I think Emerson, Ember Nielsen, the Bournemouth striker. Var didn't look at it. That didn't even go to Var. For the toaster when he gets a yellow card, which is it's mind boggling to be fair, you know, absolutely mind boggling. It just shows the lack of inconsistency from the PGMOL and the officials in the Premier League when they've got VAR, they need to use it and they don't use it to a full extent at times. So then, uh, yeah, as the game went on, uh, Palmer had one chance, which was over, uh, and Kunku had a chance from across, didn't really get the full contact on it. Um, I thought Kelleher done well today. To be, uh, he done he's done a nice little solid job when he made some crucial saves. Jones will get all the plaudits. Um, Grandma Wirtz was good as well. I think out of all the players that was woeful, I'd say Sabasoy. His decision making in the final third has been non-existent so far this season. He's good as work rate. I mean, he he nice little ball carrying from midfield whenever we need him be. But I just think his decision making, he's got to get a lot better on. And it worries me a little bit, the fact that he hasn't really learned from previous games this season. Why he's been able to get his decision making hasn't been improved. I don't know, maybe it's a coaching thing. Maybe it's 
um, a performance thing from himself, but he has to fix up. And he has to put on better performances, otherwise he's going to be taken out of the firing line. So, um, yeah, just the uh, yellow cards. I mean, we had four yellow cards. Chelsea had three. I mean, the referee today didn't have a good game. He was giving yellow yellow cards like the rice cream bars. The possession, Chelsea had the most possession with 10% oh, with more than we had, and which is unheard of, really, because whenever teams come to Anfield, Liverpool have the majority of possession. Fouls, there was quite a lot of them. Um, uh, no yellow, no, I'll oh, say there were seven yellow cards, no red cards, uh, a few offsides from Liverpool's point of view. And uh, yeah, I think with Chelsea, look, um, I think the inexperience in that team showed today where, where it was one all and they didn't really go for the juggler. Yes, they made some substitutions, but they had little, little next to nothing really impact on them. And uh, Liverpool, I think, with their experience in games management, not just this season under the new management, but in pre in previous seasons under Klopp, where the players have, have shown the mentality to see out games in big scenarios, and that was certainly one of them today. Um, yeah, so uh, that's all I've really got to say, guys. Uh, thanks very much for watching the video. Big win, uh, definitely need it, and hopefully there's more to follow in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video if you're new to this. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new to this as well. Please click, click in the comment section down below about who you thought performed better and who you think could perform better going forward. And please click the notifications about next videos. I'll be doing a video for Tuesday night for the to preview for the, the start 11 um, match, match preview for the game against Leipzig. And then we we'll be doing a post match reaction show. Oh, sorry, no, post match reaction video after the game as well on Wednesday night. So please stay tuned in for that. So, yeah, good win. Top of the table. We'll take that all day long. Big games ahead soon. And, uh, yeah, in the meantime and between time, have a good day. Have a good night, wherever you're watching this. Up the Reds. Cheers.